Okay, we're going to try to get this focused as best we can. Let's get this up here. Okay, we've got the meter on the 300 watt scale because it's more accurate. So we're reading this line. This is 10 watts. That mark right there would be 5. This radio puts out 6 watts according to my other old meter, which was harder to film because it's so old. Okay, channel 40. If you look down here, this is 1.8, this is 1.2. If you see where they cross, it's really down here in the bottom. It's about a 1.5, which I still don't think is right. Let's try channel 1. Okay, channel 1, where they cross, is be just about 1.8. Now, according to the meter and the radio, it's only 1.5. Let's calibrate again. These knobs are old and scratchy. Now it's down more. Okay, and let's go back to 40. There's nothing there. So, I would say, get an average, it's about 1.5 at the most on channel 1, and it gets better on channel 40, and I went up above one time, and it's better up there. So, good enough for me, for homemade. It does waver up and down because the wind's blowing it. That type of antenna, when the wind blows it, you'll think you got a bad connection. It's just the wind blowing it will mess it up back and forth. You'll watch it on the meter. But this is my, let me shut the fan off, my MFJ meter. It covers 1.8 to 60 megahertz. And it covers a 2 meter band, which is 144 megahertz. And it covers a 70 centimeter UHF 440 megahertz. I bought this when I first got my ham equipment. They're probably about $100 now, but it's pretty good insurance when you got $100 of the radio equipment. But You can send these in the factory, have them calibrated, or find a ham operator that knows his equipment, because there's all, you can stick a screwdriver in the back of this. They shouldn't make stuff like that. <laughs> they probably figure ham operators be the ones most using them, but I can't really turn it around. I'm going to try one time. See, you can stick a screwdriver in all them holes and play with this all day long. So, I know better than to do that. It just seems more accurate when I go to the 300 watt scale. Because this radio pumps out about, I don't, because I never really understood the low watt scale. It doesn't make no sense to me. I've asked a few people before about it. And my advice was, on the lower frequencies, use your big watt scale. No problem on 2 meters. I can put it on either scale on 2 meters. I can put it on a 30 watt scale and then turn it up when I'm, my mobile has 50 watts and I'm high or low and it seems to be accurate with another meter I had hooked up so there's no problem. The problem has always been it just needs calibrated down here but it's good enough to use plus there's one in the radio. So that's nice to have one in the radio. They're not that accurate. You see me messing with it. If I go over here you can check your RF power. That's where you normally have it when you're transmitting. Modulation. Uh, on sideband, now I'd have it on modulation so I make sure my mic's cranking out what I wanted. There's a little triangle there to calibrate. Knobs are getting scratchy. Then you go back to SWR. Okay. One is like 1.5, but this meter isn't that accurate. It always read lower than what it was supposed to be. Now, if you take your jumper off and take your meter out and put it to back of the radio, it might be a little more accurate. So, if you have a radio with a meter, you'll notice that. If you take your meter out of line, just use one radio, it might be a little more accurate because you're adding and subtracting and the length of your jumper. I don't know what that was starting next door, but I want to keep this one short. 
And I will make a video on this radio sometime at night time. It's more enjoyable to me then. Then you'll see the nice green light in there. These came in an orange light. I can change the color of the bulb whenever I want. I just put little covers over the bulb. I have it a green. I like it better than the orange. I've had so many scanners with the orange, I just can't stand this radio being orange. That's the reason I changed it. But thanks for watching. The dipole was a success. It'll work good enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. It'll work good enough for me. Thanks for watching.